one meter jump for dumbbells exercise in IGP. Uh, so again, I probably repeat myself, but I train dumbbells separately from training the dog how to properly jump, because there are two different, uh, completely different exercises. <clears throat> and uh, so today is the next session, uh, progressing from what we learned. So, uh, so as you can see, my setup, I don't teach my dog to jump high, I teach my dog to stretch. But right now, what we focused on is that if I send you through the jump, you can come back to me only through the jump and so this is what i mostly focused at the beginning this is the foundation of everything uh, i want my dog to jump there and jump back always no matter what so where i'm at uh, he, he he knows what i want from him he knows the command he loves running around and everything but right now what i do is that i challenge him so i threw the ball on the very side so he could kind of see that he can run to me on the straight line and I'm forcing him to still jump because I want him to know if he jump there, he needs to jump back. So there is, that's how the exercise is. And I want it to be ingrained in my dog before we go to competition. So let's see how we do this. Jump. No, jump. Good, good boy. So I always correct him, and I know you probably don't see how far I toss it, but it doesn't matter. So I'll, I'll try to even go more challenging on the angle. Jump. No, no. Good jump, good boy. So as you can see, he, he, he knows what I want. And so I don't even have to guide him. He knows to come back, which is really great progress. So that's what I kind of continue doing in various directions. Jump, jump, good ball. So not every jump has to be challenged, uh, but once in a while I do this so he, hey, enough, so he remembers. Jump, good jump, good boy, good boy. Give it to me, hey. Jump, come on. Jump, very good, that's a good one, that's a very good one. He really, I don't know if you guys were able to see, but he really went <coughs> for the ball over there because it bounced to the side and he came back, so he's getting there. Jump, jump, good jump. Give it to me, hi. Jump, good boy, no, 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 no. Jump, well, at least that. Okay, let's try this challenge again. Jump, good boy. Jump, good, good boy. Give it, give it to me, good boy. I jump, good, jump, no, jump, good, good boy. So you can see if you keep challenging him and. I'm really throwing it to the side, which probably will never happen in reality. Enough in a trial. Enough. <laughs> but I'm challenging him, him so he knows to come back uh, through through the jump. Jump. No, no, no. Uh-uh. No. He knows to come back now, but the ball is way off. He can see there. I want him to go through the jump. 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 Good jump. Jump! That's cheating. Jump, jump, good jump. Jump, good. Okay, very good. So I let him jump through the middle one time and so the second time he decided to just walk in, which I didn't want to. But more or less that's what we do now. Enough, let's. Uh, I'm just playing with him and occasionally I will throw in as a challenge to the very very far right or far left um, and then challenge him to know to go straight through the jump even though he can see the toy in front of him without it and the same to come back so that's what we are working on and as you can see he's still having a blast so happy training